Young and the Rest of the Spoilers reveals that Phyllis's emergency call left Amanda bewildered and she really couldn't believe that Phyllis was still alive. Phyllis's reclusive life makes it impossible for her to do anything, which makes Phyllis want to step back and confess all her sins. But the consequences are not what she expected because love has changed Phyllis too much. It's Jax who made Phyllis' life spiral into a whirlwind of love and hatred. Blinded by her quest for revenge, Phyllis joins forces with Jeremy Stark against Diane Jenkins. It was Diane who caused Phyllis to transform into a completely different person. Jeremy's appears to draw Phyllis into this war of revenge, and together they plan to trap her for Phyllis' stage death while Phyllis will run away and start a new life. Jeremy and Phyllis manage to carry out the plan without a hitch, but things went wrong when Phyllis dared to sacrifice her death in exchange for revenge on Diane. Can't she find a way out of this mess? Maybe Diane will go to prison, but Phyllis will never dare to see her children and loved ones again. She has to live in seclusion for fear of people finding out, and Phyllis realized that she had made a big mistake, so she tried to get out of her scheme with Jeremy. However, Jeremy Stark will not accept this and no as an answer. He knew all too well that if Phyllis returned home, it would also expose his cover, and he would end up in jail. We can see the flaws in Phyllis's plan, so he has to bear the heavy consequences. Fearing for her life, Phyllis tries to run away from Jeremy. Phyllis stabbed Jeremy in self-defense, and now Jeremy Stark is dead, and Phyllis is covered in blood, and things keep coming up that Phyllis doesn't dare to face. Now, Phyllis has only two options. One is to go to prison if she returns to her family, or else she's to live in hiding under her name. Phyllis did her best to try to get rid of the body, but let's be honest, is there anything lurking on YNR? Of course, Phyllis also can't live in peace as Jeremy's disappearance for so long, and they can't make the police suspicious. Phyllis ponders the idea of making a phone emergency call for her, asking for her good friend, Michael Baldwin, to represent her legally if she ever turns herself in. However, it's possible that he was too offended by her, and he's still representing Diane. Michael couldn't believe Phyllis could do such terrible things. If once he realizes that Phyllis has trapped Diane, he may feel inclined to choose Diane over Phyllis. Once her truth comes out, it's hard to assume that anyone else will want to help her. However, there's one good friend she can still count on, and that's Amanda Sinclair. She's an excellent lawyer, and she recently visited GC to represent Lily. So if Phyllis begs for forgiveness, there's a chance that Amanda will help her out. The plot development is extremely tense when Phyllis accepts the face of round of justice. Will her record never to lose a case, or will she lose a case for the first time? Tell us in the comments. In the meantime, follow the young and the restless to find out.